And welcome back to Home Track Heroes here on CW11. We're in our Interstate Batteries Hornet main event, and we want to introduce you to our sponsor for this segment, and it's Coastal Community Bank. At Coastal Community Bank, community is their middle name. Their small business champions take time to understand your business and help move it forward. Visit CoastalCommunityBank.com to find a banker near you, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And it's great having Coastal Community Bank on board again in the 2021 season. But this Interstate Battery Hornet race, it's been action-packed. I think we've maybe got one lap in so far. It's just been chaos and carnage, but it's been exciting. Yeah, it's been very exciting, and we have such a great field, kind of like we talked about earlier with the BECU mini stocks, with a large field and with some of those road course turns that we've been seeing. Just so much action, and for me, it's a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, I'm sure for the fans, too, in the grandstands, they were loving it, as it's always a very action-packed, a very fan-favorite class with all the different cars, different-looking cars uh, out there. As we see them right here, we have one lap complete, still 29 laps to go. But again, we were running up against a curfew, so that might be cut short a little bit. Uh, all the drivers have a race receiver in their ear, or are supposed to have a race receiver in their ear, in their ear, so they can hear uh, from the race officials what's going on, and that's how they get updates of possible uh, laps being cut short, or uh, if there's a caution on the track, or what they need to be do, so or what they need to do, so. Uh, it's a pretty useful tool. Uh, they can't talk back, which I'm sure the officials love. <laughs> but here we go. 29 laps remaining. It's still all Zach Meyer in that 69 machine. Yeah, we'll see if the eight car to the outside, Luke Cattell, is able to do anything here as they go to the restart. But there's the green flag flying as we have the 69 car of Zach Meyer jump to that early lead. There you see the 81 of Bobby Fisher going to the inside there as they come around the turn. And Ooh. there's a little bit more bumping as they go into turn number two. And you see all that traffic there once again is four wide and now three wide as they head down the back stretch. Yeah, Bobby Fisher moving that uke tire a little bit. And that's not an easy thing to do. Those things do not move very quickly. Oh, we got the 221 going flying off the truck. That's Lyndon Smith. Smith. That looked like possibly a throttle issue in that machine, so tough break there as he's able to get it slowed down as we have more chaos going down the front straightaway. That's Trent Gillespie in the 025 spinning it out, and we got Mike Hathaway up there spun out as well. But we're going to go on board right here with Peyton Hop and see what he saw going through as there's bumping and grinding. There's Damon Claiborne here, high points guy, still far back. Uh, and just absolute chaos and there's the Lyndon Smith the inside just shooting the gap going off the track that was a great shot there from Peyton Hop's point of view and tough break there for the 221 of Lyndon Smith as uh, we have about nine laps remaining is what the drivers are being told uh, it's it's tough because we don't know how fast the laps are going to go by, but we're up against a pretty strict curfew here. So the drivers are tentatively being told they have about eh, 10, nine laps remaining, but it's uh it's, it's still, it's still a tough one when you're, when you're out there in your main event and you're, you're being cut short. Yeah, and you see them giving all of their effort. Nobody is uh, nobody is looking at the curfew time and, and starting to race any easier than they have before. You see everybody exactly. really putting in some good effort here as we head towards the curfew issue that we're running into, but uh, great racing so far. Yeah, and so far three cautions making up the first part of this race, which uh, doesn't help out time-wise at all uh, for the Hornet, the, the Interstate Battery Hornet A main event. But we'll see what they got. 28 laps left for the schedule distance. We'll see how many they're able to get done before we hit our curfew. But right now, Zach Meyer, he's hanging tough out there. He's, he's nailing these restarts. Yeah, he's looking really good. And you see the last time by, too, Zach, it didn't take him long to re-solidify that first place spot with the maybe an, a little bit of an early jump. And we see the kind of the same thing here. But the 69 car is just so good at those restarts. And you see Zach Meyer once again jump out of the way of any kind of trouble as they come out of turn number two and head down the back stretch. And once again, we see multiple instances of three wide. There's Lucas Hassenfluck on the inside there as they go down the back stretch. But uh, really, really exciting to see what kind of action they have as they come out of turn number two. Yeah, Brad Gruel and Payton Hop out there battling side by side, deeper in the pack, but still great action. It's the 15, I think that's Matt Snyder getting a little bit loose, able to hang on to it. We saw Matt on the podium a week ago, but we got some, oh, some more action. Hathaway going back around one more time, but we're going to jump back up as we got a battle for the lead. That's Luke Heddle looking to the inside of Zach Meyer. Doesn't quite have enough going into the 3 8 turn number three. And there's a really good battle, too, going into turn number four and into turn number five. It's the 13 of John Newbaum. And on the inside, you can't quite tell who that is, but uh, there's a really exciting as they go too wide heading into turn number two. Yeah, I think that's Christian Miller in the 77 to the inside of Newbaum as they're side by side banging doors through the funnel as they go side by side down the back straightaway. Still a great battle for the final spot on the podium. They're racing for a trophy right there. 
Yeah, absolutely. And and just continuing to, to bump and grind as they head out of turn number five and now here down the front stretch. So you see that uh, the 13 car of John Newbaum and the 77 of Christian Miller kind of continuing to stay side by side. And now you see the 13 of John Newbaum just go just a little bit far ahead of the 77 there as they come out of turn number two and head down the back stretch. And now the 13 car of John Newbaum is trying to challenge the eight car of Luke Cattell as they come into the turn. Yeah, and you see the 81, your pole sitter, Bobby Fisher, right there in fifth, hanging on tight with Damon Claiborne right behind him in sixth. But uh, tough. It looks like maybe Claiborne having some issues with that car. It's not quite showing the speed we've seen out of that 43. And right as I say that, he dives deep into the inside, trying to create a run. And here comes Peyton Hobb having himself a great run in that 16 car. He's moving up fast as well. Yeah, and you mentioned Bobby Fisher in the 81 earlier, and so it looked like Bobby was actually doing really good going into that turn number two onto the road course and heading to the back stretch, but uh, you see kind of still holding off in that fifth place spot right now. Yeah, I, I wonder with how much speed Claiborne's trying to pull through uh, through this section. I wonder if he almost might be stuck in gear because he doesn't quite have the speed off of the corner as you see the 81 pull away right there. Uh, he doesn't quite have enough speed right there, so I wonder if he's stuck in gear and he's kind of topping out at the higher end of the track and doesn't have enough pull uh, off the uh, funnel like we like to call it. So that could be some issue that our high points guy, the 43 Claiborne, is battling. But we got a great pack of cars right here, first through fifth in your screen. Yeah, definitely. So the 69 of Zach Meyer is still holding strong and firm in that first place spot. We have the 8 of Luke Cattell in second and the 13 of John Newbaum in third. And uh, like you had mentioned, uh, Peyton Hopp in that 16 car is really battling good with Damon Claiborne in 43. And that looks like for spots 6 and 7th. And so that'll be kind of exciting to see as the laps start to dwindle down here a little bit. And you see Christian Miller getting a little bit sideways trying to dive into that X, carry as much speed as possible. We'll see what that 77 has for new bonds. They battled side by side for a few laps earlier. We'll see if the 77 can catch back up to that 13. As looks like Peyton Hopp's able to get around Damon Claiborne. That's a big pass for the young Peyton Hopp. Yeah, really exciting. Coming out of turn number two, Peyton Hopp was able to go to the inside of Damon Claiborne and head down the backstretch and take over that spot from, from uh, Damon Claiborne in the 43 car. And now as we see, as we go to the front of the pack, the 69 of Zach Meyer going into turn number two and heading down the backstretch. And it looks like the 77 of Christian Miller trying to go to the outside of the 13 of John Newbaum. We'll see as that is continues to be a good battle for third. Yeah, and you see Mike Hathaway in front of your leaders. We'll see if uh, lap traffic has anything to do with the outcome of this main event as they're actually being told they're getting the white flag this time by to your leader, the 69 of Zach Myers. It is a hornet's nest in the hornet's main event for second through fifth, it looks like. We'll see what or how it shakes out. Christian Miller and John Newbaum side by side for third. Yeah, that's going to be pretty exciting as they head down the back stretch. You see Newbaum and you see Miller as they go too wide going into turn number four here, into turn number five for the unconventional road course. And as we go across the start finish line, here's the checkered flag for the 69 of Zach Meyer. Coming in second is the eight car of Luke Cattell. And getting that third spot is the 13 of John Newbaum. As we we'll go on board here, uh, timing and scoring shows a 13 of Newbaum as the third place car, but I think they're going to talk about that a little bit because it looked like maybe Christian Miller might have gone across, so uh, technology isn't always right. We'll see them battle right here coming around the last corner, beating and banging it, going across the line. And wow, that is close. I think I think it might be I think it might be Christian Miller. We'll jump up to top three right here. Zach, that was kind of like a tutorial of how to lead the race, keep on leading the entire race, and then finish strong. How did you feel? Uh, it felt great. Uh, the caution slowed me down a bit. I just wanted to keep going, but uh, I held my line and just kept on going. It's definitely slippery out there. What sponsors do you need to thank tonight, Zach? Tom's Concrete, Buck Smith Trucking, and Edwards KNS. You had a great race out there tonight. You were pretty much holding solid in second place. How did it feel? It was slippier, slipperier than heck out there. You know, this is the first win I've ever had, and it was in the rain. Um, I was pretty sure I was going to lose it, you know, in the first couple laps, but uh, followed the 69 car to victory, and we made it. There you go. Who do you need to thank for being out here tonight? Uh, first of all, you know, I just want to thank God for the opportunity to just even be here. Uh, and then my dad and my mom, you know. My, my dad, he uh, works on the car with me all the time, even when I'm gone doing stuff. And, uh, you know, with Without him, without my mom, I couldn't even be here right now. At the very end, that was awful exciting. You were able to sneak past John. Tell us about that final move. 
that was wild. I, I I thought he had me, honestly. I don't know. It was pretty close. I, I didn't know until she called over the receiver telling me I got third. So I'm pretty excited, pretty happy. I put a lot of work into this car. Um, it performed really well today. So I'm just happy right now. <laughs> awesome. All right, Christian, who do you need to thank for being here tonight? Well, first of all, I need to thank my dad. He's done so much for me. He's the reason that I'm here today. Second, my, my main sponsor is Turbo Espresso 196 in Linwood. And then we got GN Northwest and Exterior Wall Systems. All right, as we leave the Angel of the Winds Winter Circle, one of the things that was awesome about our sponsor, our main sponsor for the evening on Saturday, was Gundy's Auto Recycling. They ended up giving a $50 gift card to everybody that podium and the main events. And for the Youth Hornets, they also gave out ice cream to the Youth Hornets top finishers for those main events. So wonderful thank you to Gundy's Auto Recycling for their excellent sponsorship of the entire night and also for giving that nice little extra perk to anybody that got on the podium during the main event. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's just uh, the icing on, on top or the cherry on top for the ice cream for some of those <laughs> for some of those youth hornet drivers is uh what were your overall thoughts from the rolling thunder big rigs this is your first time being able to see them you know i just thought they put on an excellent show i think from the heat races they had a trophy dash um everything that the rolling thunder big rigs did they were there to entertain the fans and i think they did exactly that yeah, from their trophy dashes, the heat race, especially the big incident, I think that was kind of the highlight of the night for a lot of people. But uh, we got some great events coming up here on CW11 next week. You'll be able to tune in and watch uh, the Speedway Chevrolet Pro Late Models as they get back out after it. Going to be an awesome event. But if you want to come here in person, we got the Granite Super Sprint Cars next Saturday night for you guys, along with the Focus Midgets. They run both on dirt and on asphalt so it's gonna be a great show all around you gotta get yourself out here at evergreen speedway uh eat some food out here support support the local the local track and it's gonna be a fun time thank you for tuning in i'm kyle rope this is greg pilon thanks for watching evergreen speedways home track heroes on cw11 join us next week for more great racing from evergreen speedway